Hello, beautiful humans. I'm Gem Madrone. And today I want to talk a little bit about um, something that happens in the path of awakening and growth. And there's so many different uh, phases and bumps in the road and ups and downs. And we talk a lot about a lot of them on here and and this phase or this maybe event or moment on the path of awakening and self-growth is when we um, feel like we've fallen off our path for a minute and maybe we've stopped doing our meditations and our spiritual practices and we feel like we're not quite in alignment with um, our path and with our process um, and that we begin to worry. We begin to worry that we're backsliding. We begin to worry that we won't find our way back. We begin to worry that we've lost the motivation um, or the clarity of mind to keep moving forward. And uh, guilt can really start to creep in as well. We feel guilty that we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing. We feel guilty that, you know, we're, we're not um, keeping up with the promises that we've made to ourselves and to the universe. And um, we may feel like, start to feel a little bit hopeless, you know, because when we're really doing all the practices and all of the work and we are moving forward, we realize it really does take a lot of work. It takes a lot of focus and intention to make that forward momentum. And so when we start to kind of back off for a minute of these practices, we worry that we're going to be backsliding because, you know, we, we know that it takes a lot of energy to move forward. And so we also worry that we're losing that momentum that we've built up during, you know, the process. And this is something that I think um, almost everybody experiences. If you haven't experienced it yet, I bet that you will at some point, you know, because everything ebbs and flows as well as energy. And the energy and momentum in our spiritual growth process ebbs and flows as well. And so there is times when we might start to, you know, it feels like we're getting a little lazy at times and feels like we've let go of our practices for a minute. And so again, that fear and that guilt creeps in. And um, I'm here to tell you that that fear and guilt is the ego speaking to you every time because the ego is an opportunist and it's using your deep desire for spiritual growth and spiritual change to to get to you to um, kind of take its power back and so it uses you know that the, that guilt and that fear and builds on it and says oh yeah you're not going to be able to reach the place you want to reach because you can't even do your meditation every day you can't even commit to this so how are you gonna you know reach this point of stillness in your mind and reach this point of contentment in your heart if you can't even do your meditation every day if you can't do your practices and so the the ego just takes that and runs um, because it it knows your sincerity for spiritual growth and so it just kind of picks away at it in order to take its power back um, in order to keep you in the mind in order to keep the ego as the center of the self and so first we have to recognize that we have to call the ego out we have to call ourselves out and you know when that guilt and that fear of backsliding creeps in we call it out and we say that's that's the ego that's not me that is the mind and you know i'm not going to let it pull me down into this fear and guilt and i'm going to see past it and so Every time we do that process of calling out the ego and recognizing it when it's playing its games, and then we choose to move beyond the mind, beyond the ego, and back down into the heart and back down towards the authentic and true self and start listening to what that heart has to say. Every time we do that, we're helping to change the power structure. We're helping to 
um, move that power from the ego centered self back to the authentic self. And so these are beautiful opportunities to do this every single time. And um, so when we do that and we recognize the voice of the ego and the voice of fear and we move down into the heart and we just ask, what are you needing right now? Like, are you needing a break from the meditation for a minute? Are you wanting something different? Is there something new that you're wanting to learn? Um, is there something new that you're wanting to work on? You know, what is it that your heart and your authentic self is asking for? And so when we have these moments where we feel kind of stalled, it's a perfect time to tap in and to listen and to, to see what your authentic self is really asking of you in the moment. And, you know, this is like a, a muscle that we build over time and over practice. And so um, take these opportunities when you feel challenged, when you feel that guilt creeping in, take the opportunity to just notice where your ego is trying to get its hook back in you and calling it out and shifting that power structure again. And if you have any questions about that, this, please leave it in the comments because it can, it can come up in a lot of different ways for different people and appear differently. So um, if there's something that's come up for you, then please ask about it. And if you're really sincere about moving forward in this process of awakening and personal growth, and transformation and you really have that deep desire but you're feeling stuck and you want some help or you want a mentor to help you move through it then please private message me and we can talk and I'd love to share the work that I do with my clients and see if it would be a good fit for you. So thank you guys all for listening. I hope you guys all have a great night and um, of course if you have any questions please let me know. Sending you so much love and I'll see you in the Facebook group.